YouTube. Hey, everybody. You guys know what it is. It's cute. And you know how I do when I'm sipping with you. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cute Food Reviews and like I always do. Let me start off by saying thank you to my subscribers. I most definitely want to say thank you to all 3K of y'all as well. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And welcome to the team, my baby. What's good, Q Nation? How was you guys' weekend? I hope all was well. I hope it was safe. Mine's was quiet. Kept busy. Kept it moving. Q Nation, listen to me. Uh, I'm getting ready to bring you guys a beverage review, okay? Wrap snacks and drop y'all. Y'all already know they done already done their chips, right? Now they came out with beverages. Four of them, okay? I'm going to drop you one of the four today, so stay tuned and keep watching for the rest of them, all right? But before we get our sip on with this beverage review, let me address something with one of my subscribers. Uh, he mentioned something to me in my notifications. This is pretty deep. So let me reply back to him, and we're going to go ahead and get our sip on, ladies and gentlemen. But just give me just a few minutes and let me address something with one of my subscribers. Let me try to help him out the best way I can. Brandon Hoffman. Brandon, if you're watching this video, listen to me, Brandon. I saw what you said to me in my notifications, my guy. Uh, listen to me, Brandon. That was deep. I'm not a psychiatrist. And I'm not a tear reader either. But what I can say to you is this, Brandon. All right? Let me share this with you. Play close attention when I tell you this, okay? It was one day, Brandon, I was catching a bus. This is when I was younger. And I was on my way to work. And I was sitting next to this man, Brandon. He was just as normal as anyone else. But within a matter of minutes, Brandon, I couldn't believe it when it happened. When just in a matter of minutes, Brandon, as he was sitting there talking to me, all of a sudden, he done this. And when he did, what that was, Brandon, was called a seizure. The same thing that you're enduring. I'm saying all that to say this, my guy. You told me about how they occur frequently. Well, that's the condition that you have, my guy. You don't know when they will occur. You follow me on where I'm coming from? And when this man had the seizure, the only thing they were able to do was stop the bus, call the ambulance, and get him transported from the bus to the ambulance and to the hospital when this man suffered that seizure. But Brandon, before he suffered the seizure, he was just as normal as anyone else. So I'm saying all that to say this again, I can relate to what you're saying because I experienced it and saw it myself with my own two eyes when I was younger, okay? I also had an ex-girlfriend. Her daughter would have these seizures. But I was blessed, fortunate enough, okay, that they never took place with me and in my presence. And one thing that I never forgave her for, Brandon, is because when I met her, she didn't tell me about her daughter conditions, okay? And I was, you know, taking this child with me a lot of places. It could have easily took place plenty of times with me, okay? But I was just blessed, fortunate enough that God didn't let that happen, okay? Because that would have ended our relationship then. It already came to an end, but it would have ended it faster with me knowing that, you know what I'm saying? You could have told me your daughter had this condition, but she didn't do that. But I'm sharing all of that for a reason, to let you know I can relate to what you're saying. Okay? Now, as far as your personal issues, listen to me, my guy. i never been married yet, but I can tell you this, okay? I have a fiancé, okay? And I have another female friend that loves me and want to be with me, too. You mentioned to me about 
your girlfriend cheating on you. I need for you to understand this, my guy. You may not even like it when I say it to you, but it's facts. Facts. You two weren't married, right? So there's no rings on neither one of you guys' fingers, right? So in all reality, to tell you the truth, she can pretty much do what she want to do, okay? Listen to me, my guy. You guys was in a relationship. Y'all wasn't married. You follow me on where I'm coming from? And even married people cheat on each other. So I'm saying all that to say this. My guy, that's the reason why I'm not married. You follow me where I'm coming from? I have a fiancé. I repeat and say it again. If I want to play games and cheat on my woman, it don't make no sense to me getting married. Is you understanding where I'm coming from? If I'm not going to be faithful and be a good husband, there's no sense in me getting married, okay? You follow me where I'm coming from? But I'm saying that to tell you this. That's why I have a fiancé and another woman to love me, okay? When the time is right, when the opportunity is there, it'll happen. But in the meantime, in between time, okay, I'm not, how can I say this? I don't have that headache of worrying about a woman cheating on me. If she chooses to do what she want to do, she's free and obligated to do that because we're not married. You follow me where I'm coming from, my guy? So you can cut out a lot of heartaches and pains, okay? And I understand we're men. We get emotional. We go through things like that. But what I'm trying to tell you is this, my guy. That's not your wife. That was just your girlfriend, okay? Women are like buses. They come and they go, my guy. Okay, so hopefully I was able to uplift you in that sense right there as far as you mentioning your girlfriend cheating on you. Here's the last aspect of what you mentioned to me right here, and this is the best that I can tell you, my guy. You said you don't have a lot of friends and your family members and neighbors just seem to make your life worse. Well... Brandon, life is only what you make it, my guy. I'm a bald head black man from the Motor City, from Michigan. You follow me where I'm coming from? I came up in poverty. I came up without a father. I have to take care of my mother. Life was never easy for me, Brandon. Life was always a struggle for me, and it still is to this day. But life was only what I made it, my guy. You follow me on where I'm coming from? So I'm here to tell you this. Your life is only what you make it, okay? And if you don't mind, Brandon, I'm not getting religious on you, but do me a favor, my guy. Give my father, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, a chance. What I mean by giving him a chance, when you get some time, you know, sit down. You don't got to get on your knees and you ain't got to go to church. But just sit down and just talk to him and approach him like this. Father, you ain't got to call him God. You ain't got to call him Jesus. Just come to him like this. Father. And, and, and talk to him the same way you talk to me, Anthony. Talk to my father the same way. Okay? You can't see him, Anthony. But he there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you you going through what you're going through you know, in your life, and it's out of your control. Just your health conditions alone is out of your control. You can't control when these seizures happen to you, okay? So just go to my father and pray for your health conditions. Pray for what you're going through in your life because prayer, okay, helps. You know what I'm saying? It helps to pray sometime, my guy, all right? It helps to pray sometimes. And bear with me when I say this, Brandon. A lot of people want to run to my father when they're locked up, yeah. when they're in trouble, when they're laying on their deathbeds, or when they're going through hardships in life, period. I deal with him on the regular, okay, because life is filled with what you call trials and tribulations. So I'm telling you all that to say this. Give my father a try, my guy. Just sit down and talk to him the same way you was talking to me. Talk to him the same way. You can't see him, Brandon, but he there. He is the spirit. You can't see him, but you can definitely feel him. <laughs> okay? So just give my father a try, all right? Because he can help you out way far more better than I can. Prayer changes things, Brandon, okay? 
will things change overnight? No, but they definitely will in time, all right? He may not come when you want him to, Brandon, but my father always on time, my guy, okay? So listen to me. I can't dwell on that too much longer, okay? I got to give my subscribers what they came here for, okay? But that's why I'm sharing that with you in this video. I didn't reply back to you because I can't type. I couldn't sit there and type in this long message. I'm bringing it to you this way so you can verbally and physically see me, okay? Uh -huh. So, that's what I want you to do. Just go ahead and give my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ a try. Go to Him. Talk to Him about your problems, your health problems, and leave it in His hands, my guy. Leave it in His hands. Brandon, it was a pleasure meeting you. Hopefully, I was able to help you out the best way I could. I saw what you said to me. And, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's the situation, my guy. Life ain't perfect for nobody. You know what I'm saying? We all got problems. And uh, that's, that's the best advice that I can give you, man. Just go ahead and, you know, leave it in the Lord's hands because that's all you can do, you know, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully I was able to help you out in that sense right there. Good morning, bro. No man, not not this early. Right, you know it, bro. you know it, you know what you say, bro. You want the money, but when the money comes to you, you are that, right? <laughs> I got the biggest numbers that stay right here. Right? Yeah, right, right, right here. Yeah. Right here. Phone, say, don't want to come get it. I know that's right. It be like that, bro. Yeah, it be like that, man. Have a good morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. They sorry hey. about that. I was just uh, chopping it up with one of them, my people's. Listen, this is what I want you guys to do. Uh, I'm getting ready to bring you guys this uh, beverage review, okay? And this is from Rap Snacks, all right? This is their brand. They already got the chip brand, you know what I'm saying? But now they came with the beverage brands, all right? I ain't never seen these before in my life, Q-Nation. We just now got them in stock, all right? So let me bring you one of the four flavors today, okay? And let me show you guys what I'm working with. I'm going to go grab them out the cooler. We just got them in stock, too, y'all. And let me show y'all what I'm working with. And uh, this is from the artist, I believe his name, Little Baby, I think it is. So let me, you know, confirm that for y'all. Let me go grab it so we can see. Okay, Q Nation. Yes, sir. With no further ado, let me get into this review. Ah, yeah, baby. Q Nation. This is from Rap Snacks. And this is from the artist Little Baby. And this is called Ooh Wee. <laughs> Ooh Wee Lemonade, y'all. And this is the pineapple mango flavor. Ah, <laughs> look at that, boy. Oh, gotta love it. And look at that. Come on, YouTube. Let's get that thumbnail. Ah, <laughs> right there, my baby. <laughs> Gotta love it, boy. And I'm matching the product, Q Nation. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. This is brand new from Rap Snacks. Again, this is their line of beverages, y'all. They already got their line of chips. And if you don't believe me, go to my previous videos. Check out my Rap Snack videos. And while y'all over there, Please don't forget to hit the like button and share my content. And I hope you guys enjoy them videos. Yeah, that's right, Q Nation. I dropped them all, my baby. From Trina, okay? Fetty Wap. You know what I'm saying? The Migos. Y'all, go to my archives and check them out, okay? Check them out. I even did Cardi B chips, too. Okay? All rap snack reviews, okay? Go to my archives and check them out. Now I'm adding these to my repertoire. You follow me? I'm adding these to my arsenal now, my baby. Okay? Let me start off by giving you some nutrition facts, okay? My thoughts and opinion, I'm going to let you know what I think. Right off the top, we're looking at 320 calories, okay? What is this? Total fat, zero. Sodium is two grams. Cholesterol is zero. And protein, what, is uh, zero. All together, we're looking at 320 calories. You can see all this on the back of the label for yourself, Okay? What this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pineapple mango beverage with other natural artificial flavors, okay? 
I ain't never had this before, so I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinion. I'm going to let y'all know what I think, all right? It sure look good and cold, don't it? Yes, sir, my baby. Let me get straight into it, y'all. I'm going to pop the top. I like that. With the aroma alone, y'all, right off the top, okay? You're getting what it said. It smells like mango. You know what I'm saying? If you're familiar with the fruit, mango, and how it smells, you're getting that within the aroma. Now I want to see what it tastes like. It smells like pineapples too, y'all. It smells like it too. Let me see what it tastes like. Cheers. right off the back okay it's smooth it's not a pop this is a juice let me give you a comparison mm. if you're familiar with this brand it's called Everfresh okay Everfresh has a juice that's called Mango 2 perfect comparison you know what I'm saying but this is Little Baby's version of his pineapple mango you know what i'm saying i like it y'all don't hand me the line i like it let me get a little bit more though i like that mm -hmm. little baby listen to me my guy i got you i got you q nation is smooth it's refreshing. It's not strong at all, okay? It's more of a juice. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? It's not a pop at all. You know what I'm saying? you getting exactly what it tells you. When you drink it, ladies and gentlemen, you getting exactly what it said. The twist of the, pain, the mango and the pineapple within the texture, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I like it. Don't have me lying. I like it, okay? From a scale of one to five, what would I give it? little baby it's good my guy i'm gonna give you a four though you follow me i'm gonna give you a four it's good bro keep them up all right keep them up and q nation what i suggest you pick them up give them a try and let me know what you think yes i do try this one first and then you can go ahead and try the other three i'm gonna bring them all up to you okay but go ahead and pick this one up today give it a try and let me know what you think this is brand new from rap snacks and it's called rap snacks oh we <laughs> oh we lemonade okay so pick it up give it a try and let me know what you guys think okay don't knock it until y'all try q nation okay pick it up and give it a try y'all oh we <laughs> yes sir oh q nation listen to me ladies and gentlemen There's some things I need to share with you, okay, before I end the video. All right. Listen to me. I was asked this, and I'm going to end the video on this note right here. Uh, I was asked what are my thoughts and opinion on Kyrie Irving and his situation that he's going through uh, in the eat you know in the league in the nba you guys love you no know, i love my basketball so let me go ahead and answer my subscribers uh question let me and uh, let me in the video on this note right here q nation what are my thoughts and opinion on the Kyrie Irving situation life is about choices ladies and gentlemen we all have what you call free will if you don't stand for something you will fall for nothing okay so He's taking a stand for what he believes in, and there's nothing wrong with that. You follow me on where I'm coming from? But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I hope Kyrie Irving has to understand you have a family, bills got to get paid, and life has to go on. Sometime, Q Nation, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. 
you got to know when to fold them, okay? You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them, all right? Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, it's just best to, how can I say this, cooperate if you can. And uh, let's go on, okay? You want to make it comfortable for the players. You want to make it comfortable, you know, for your, your family. So, you know, whatever decision you choose to make as far as when it comes to vaccinations, make sure it's a decision that you want to do and that you feel comfortable with, okay? Do what's best for you and your family at the end of the day, and that's what's important, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I cannot sit here and tell people to get vaccinated. I can't tell who to, to go out and get the shot and who not to. I don't have no control over that, okay? So, I said all that to say this. Life is about choices. And hopefully Kyrie Irving will make the best decision that's best for him and his family, ladies and gentlemen. None of us can make Kyrie Irving go and get a vaccination shot. That has to be a choice that he chooses to make. And whatever choice he chooses to make is up to him, ladies and gentlemen, okay? All right, so that was my answer. And my thoughts and opinion on that right there to the subscribers that asked me that. Y'all know who y'all was, fellas. So hopefully I was able to answer that for y'all. Okay. And back to Brandon Hoffman. Hopefully I was able to help you out the best way I could, Brandon. I'm going to keep you in my prayers. And uh, again, Brandon, give my father a try. If not the else. Okay. Just do that for me. Give my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ a try. You know what I'm saying? And give him time, Brandon. Give him time. Develop a relationship with him the same way you would a female. You following where I'm coming from? Brandon, I'm going to say this, and I'm getting ready to end the video on this note right here, okay? Because I got to get out of here. My time is limited, okay? I mean this when I tell you this, Brandon. Okay? Brandon, look, look at me, my guy. I understand you don't like what you're going through. Okay, I get it. I get it. You don't like what you're going through. Okay. But sometime, Brandon, you know, we, 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 we get dealt a hand that we don't like sometime, okay? But I'm I'm just telling you this, you know, you 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 can't give up, my guy. Look at me, I'm looking you dead in the face, man, because, you know, when, when you said what you said to me, that's scary, all right? And uh, I don't want you going and making no type of drastic decisions, okay, because of what you're going through in your life. You know, you just got to, you know, keep your spirit up some type of way and uh, just don't give up and quit, man, okay? So, like I told you, go ahead and give my father a try, all right? And uh, I wish you the best of luck, all right, man? If you ever need me to pray for you or anything like that, I'm here, all right? I'm here. And hopefully I was able to help you the best way I can, okay, my guy? Because that was deep right there, and I gave the best advice that I could to you, my guy, okay? So give my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ a try, and maybe, you know, he'll help make your life a little bit better for you, you know what I'm saying, will he be able to solve all your problems, no, because that's life, life is full of problems, you follow me on where I'm coming from, but it helps, <laughs> he helps, you know what I'm saying, so life is only what you make it, alright, so go ahead and do that for me, alright, go ahead and uh, just uh, give my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ a try, alright, Q Nation, I'm getting ready to end this video right there, okay, before you guys get out of here, can you do me a favor, please share my content, okay, Hit the like button and ask them to subscribe and join the team and the family. Hey, Q Nation. Y'all know we hit 3K. Let's hit 4K. <laughs> Thank you. God bless and peace. Share my content, y'all. Q Nation, I love you all. Peace, y'all.